Hello everyone, Silver Praetorian here with Let's Play Banjo Tui. Um, last time we basically did as much of the the whole as much of the first world as possible, and we opened up the second and third worlds and got a few other things taken care of. This time we're going to go straight to the plateau through the convenient warp system and jump straight down into the second world, which is Glitter Glutch Mine. This is I'm not going to say it's my favorite level, but it is one of the levels I do like. First off, if you look there, there's a Cheeto page on that, so I'm going to see if I can get that right here at the start. And jump. Come on. No, no, no! Ah! I'm doing that again. Yeah, to exit this level, you basically just climb up to the top of that, and you're taken out. And Alright, there we go. There's our fourth Cheeto page. Just turn on the warp pedestal thing. Inside these crates are a few toys for us. We got speed shoes and something we've never seen before. Looks like springy step shoes, but you'll need to come back and find them before you can use them. Um, memory serves. We won't actually be able to use those for a very long time. Anyway, we don't actually need these, so um, I'm just going to get them now. Well, we don't need them yet. I'm just going to get them now so we can speed around. Um, oh, Globo. And if there's a Globo there, that means there's Wamba. Um, I don't really want to... Actually, I think it might be best to get her stuff and get it out of the way pretty quick. I don't know, I'm gonna run around a, real, run around a little bit first, just to see what there is. Um, I hear Ginger. Actually, I'm gonna grab this Ginger while I'm in the area. Because I will forget about him if I don't. There's our first green Ginger. Um, Mumbo's over here, so I'm just going to get the Mumbo teleport pattern. This level is actually pretty big, and um, the reason why it sticks in my memory so much is this is the first level where it really hits you with how different everything is set up in this game. I'll explain a bit more once I get to it. Okay, I have the location. I suppose the best thing to do first is to get the transformation out of the way. Got a bit of lag there. But yeah, I suppose the best thing to do first is get this transformation out of the way. Um, yeah, that sounds like a smart idea. So we already got the Globo, so let's just pay Mba a visit. And first stop. Okay. You have Globo, want to give to Humba? Yes, I do. So I'll just throw it in, and... Oh, there's her teleporter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Her teleporter's directly inside the place here. So we'll just activate that and jump on in. This form is... Yeah. You are a... Um... Let's see. It is... It's a detonator. That's basically what it is, long and short. Your way to attack is you self-destruct. I don't remember if it self-heals or not. It might. I'm going to have to find out. Regardless, it's kind of dangerous to use, but it's got oh, several uses, like destroying those bad guys. But no, the primary use are you, is that you find explosives like... No! Ah, okay, carefully. You attach yourself to the end of these fuses, and then you can ignite those barrels of TNT. We're going to have to do this a few places, and hopefully I can remember all of them on the first trip here. I make no promises. Plunger swims kind of weird, but it's nothing too bad. Anyway, let's just keep jumping through here. I know there's a few places we have to do that. Um, not up there. Um, not here. Ooh, I like this, actually, getting the jiggy in this area, though, so we'll have to... I don't know when we're going to do that. I know we can't 100% this world our first time here, but we're just going to have to try to do as much of it as possible. Huh, there's a Mumbo switch, so we're going to need Mumbo's help at some point there. Um, there are a lot of sub-caves in this area, so it's pretty easy to get lost and not sh be sure which one you need to go to, or which one you have been in and which one you haven't. So um, let's go. That's the entrance. I think what we want is over here. 
And I find it faster to just jump with the plunger since I think, yeah, you lose your momentum a little bit every time you land anyway, so you might as well take the bigger jumps. Alright then, is this the room? Oh yeah, that monster's a jerk. Okay, so we just want to jump up here. I'll grab these notes at some other point. Um, There it is. Yep, kind of hard to see with this amount of light, but we just attach ourselves to the rope there, and ignite the fuse, and this crate can now move forward, like I believe it's about to do. Yep. Remember, does it go all the way? Yeah, I think think it does, and then we just need to open the door on the other side. That passage there will actually take us to a different level that we aren't going to get into yet, so don't be too concerned about it yet. Anyway, um, only other things we have to get in this area are the couple notes. Um, is there anything in the water? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, just grab a few of these notes so we don't forget about them. Avoid that monster who throws dynamite at us. Um, explosive. Alright. I don't think that's everything, but I'm not sure. I suppose I can just do a walk along the entirety of the majority of the level and double check. Um, is there anything up here? No, I think we need a move to get in up here. Yeah, we do. What do we learn to move? Uh, I'm gonna have to find that. I mean, let's grab a few more fire eggs. Those are gonna be pretty useful since I believe. Yeah, it makes sense because it does more damage with them. Um. All right, what do I want to do first? So many things in this world to do. Um. Actually, if I remember correctly, the boss in this world is actually one that you're required to do. I'd have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure you are required to do him. doesn't look like there's anything over there. I don't remember if the detonator can take fall damage or not. I don't really... I don't think it can, but I'm not too inclined to check one way or the other. Anyway, let's just keep going through there. Avoid the pirates. Or, not pirates. What am I thinking? They're not pirates. They are... cowboys of sorts. Um... Train Depot... I think we're done with the plunger, so I'm going to teleport back to Humba's and take care of... Oh, no, oh, oh, okay, I didn't take a hit by... Okay, jump, I said jump, I said thank you. Alright, so we want to teleport inside Wumba's wigwam. And now that we are once again inside of it, we just jump right into the transformation puddle, pond, whatever. Alright, um, several things we can do first. One of them is one of the more annoying of them. I'm gonna get it out of the way. Well, actually, it's not terribly annoying as of now. It's much eviler later on. Anyway, um, she is right here in this cave. So let's pay her a visit. I'll explain a bit more about what I mean about her being annoying later on. Anyway, isn't there something in here? Anyway, this place is full of poison gas, so the longer you're in here, the more health you'll lose. Over here, I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament. Canary Mary, they used to send me down the mines to check for gas. If I died, they know it wasn't safe. Nice, can't think of more pleasant jobs. Just left me in here, I don't think I'll last much longer. Get Kazooie to smash the cage off. <laughs> if you must. Yes, Kazooie, you must. Woohoo, you're free. It's moments like this that makes adventuring worthwhile. But she hasn't even gotten a jiggy. Um, well, that's technically not correct, Kazooie. She actually has two, though we can only get one of them now. And for the average player, that's all you're gonna get. I'll explain more when I'm getting the first Jiggy and when I'm attempting to get the second Jiggy, but yeah, I'll, I'll explain it later, guys. If you don't already know, you'll know then. There's reasons why I hang on to my old controller, despite the fact the joystick died on me in the first game. Alright, is Cussing over yet? Uh, let's just go find her, get out of this annoying gas-filled cave. Uh, 
right then, and once again, she flew over here towards the minecart. Uh, okay then, hello, Canary Mary. Come on, move faster. Okay, here we are. Hey there, Canary Mary, why are you still around? My wings are a bit stiff from spending so long in the cage. How about a race to help me stretch them? On this old handcart? I'm sure it was broken when I last saw it. It, it was Banjo. But she fixed it and put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy you go. Um, simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. Alright. This is not evil in this first time, but it's still annoying. This one I can do on my own. This one is actually pretty easy to do on my own. Just tap the A button as fast as you can to beat her. However, you end up racing her again later on for a second Jiggy. That second race you do against her later on, she has rubber band AI worse than any Mario Kart put together. You have two ways to beat her. I'm going to at first attempt to do the one method where you basically follow right behind her the entire race and pass her at the finish line, which is the main method I heard to beat her on those remakes. And if I fail on that, I'm breaking out my turbo controller. No, I'm not ashamed. I'm really not. But yeah, this first, these first races I'm just going to do manually. It's not too difficult. I mean, I'm not even really trying right now, and I'm beating her very easily. Anyway, do this the first time, and she should give us a jiggy. Come on, Banjo. And there's the end. Okay, then, that wasn't too bad. But like I said, this is only a taste of what's to come. <sighs> I really don't like the rematch against her later on. I think we beat you there. Well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a Jiggy? Can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Um, uh, well, we, we need Jiggies, Kazooie, so I think we'll take it anyway. That was a fine race. Alright, then my wings are starting to feel better. How about a racing back again? Hop in the car if you think you can beat me. Again. Um, yeah, actually, for two reasons, beyond the fact that this will take us back to where we want to be-ish, I'm going to race her again, and the second is she will give us a new reward. This one is a bit harder, but it's nothing like the one you do with her towards the end of the game. Alright, just gotta tap it a bit faster. Um, I don't really have that much to say on this, so... I guess I just... Oh, well, I guess I could talk about what's been up. I just got home from college a few days ago. Um, actually, yeah, a few days ago from when this video is going up, since I'm recording this right after my last video went up, so yeah. Um, I gotta say, my internet here is... It just isn't good at all. But I suppose that's kind of a good thing, so even though it takes me like an hour to upload a video... Yeah, I, I need new internet. But an hour to upload a video, that's just giving me some more time to play Skyward Sword, because I have not actually played that game a lot yet, and, well, I figure I'm maybe halfway through it at this point. I'm, eh, I'm like fourth, fifth dungeon, something like that, and I gotta say, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Anyway, that's basically the entirety of this race, and now that I've found something to jammer on about the entirety of it, let's just finish it up. Alright, and that is Kamari Mary for the second race. Alright, so that's two out of two for us, Mary. Perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in... Uh, yeah, we don't want to know either, Kazooie. Yet another fine bit of innuendo, thanks to Rare. Anyway, she's off to soar among the clouds. Uh, I dislike that world. The world, the one she's going to. It's just not a lot of fun, in my opinion. Alright, five pages at last. Come and see me in Grunty's old lair. In Spyro Mountain. Um, we are going to track down Cheeto at some point, though not quite yet. And 
Actually, I think we've gotten long enough for this video. I'm trying to keep them all around 15 minutes or so. So I think I'm just going to head off to Mumbo's and... Actually, no, I'm going to make a quick stop and cut it off there. Anyway, we just jump up here and here. Um, big rock in the way. Okay, I need to learn how to smash that at some point. No, no, ah, man. Pain in my butt. I know how to platform, damn it. Ah, stupid Let's Play curse. Just because I'm recording doesn't mean my skill level should decrease to that of a three year old. Anyway, guys, this has been Silver. Ooh, notes. Don't want to forget the notes. Um, this has been Silver Torian with Let's Play Banjo Tooie. Um, next time, we see what's here in the shack. I'll see you guys then.